Today we will have an incredible video, as I will again read your theories that you wrote under my videos and posts. And believe me today, theories will be so cool and detailed that I even thought they were written by Dafuk Boom himself, and I never cease to be amazed at how many smart subscribers I have. Really guys, your theories are insane, and you didn't miss even the smallest details. So in this video we will talk about many topics, and especially in detail about the secret scenes that appeared in season 24, and about the secret agent. In general, we will talk about absolutely everything, so you better get ready because it will be hot. Hello friends, you're on the <laughs> channel. Subscribe to the channel and press the like button under the video to speed up the release of the next video. And let's go. Some of the theories are crazy long, but they're worth looking into. So let's start with a theory about secret agent. I think that some agents have known that there has been a secret agent out there, and the amount of times Lucky Cameraman and Plunger have gotten transmission error may have been drawing suspicion to the other agents. Maybe the detective decided to look on this. Also, whenever Lucky Cameraman was gifted the little thing by secret agent, there has been no evidence of him getting it since there was a recording error which cut that part out. Lucky Cameraman couldn't have gotten that device magically. He would have had to find it or receive it, but there was no evidence. I'm also guessing the detective saw all of those recording errors in the base alongside with other cameramen because we saw him in the window. Lucky Cameraman may have been also caught on other POVs looking back at Plunger, which could have drawn suspicion as well because we know Camerawoman was the POV as well. But there may be many others nearby that scene, and it would be strange if he magically got up from being injured. I also believe that there has been history or evidence of something of who viewing a POV. If we think logically, in live streams we can see who is on the stream and POVs are basically like live streams. Maybe Detective Cameraman found an unknown viewer that was not a cameraman. We can see Detective looking down in one episode, slightly. Maybe he was checking? I think Secret Agent wants the Alliance and Toilets to form an alliance together, because I believe that Secret Agent killed off the Scientist Toilet because the Secret Agent didn't want the Scientist to finish the G-Titan project. We all know that G-Man is only seeking victory, nothing else during that time of the series. Defuk Boom informed us that the Scientist project wasn't fully done, which means it was in a whip. If Scientist Toilet managed to finish G-Titan before his death, then G-Man would have transformed into a Titan and wipe out, plus attack the Alliance without hesitation. The secret agent probably saw this coming and thought of the base raid and of exterminating Scientist Toilet to avoid the Alliance from being wiped out in the future, and possibly form an alliance between Toilets and the original Alliance. Plus, Lucky Cameraman will be questioned on how he knows his way around the base, how he got the device, how he was walking when injured in future episodes by Detective Cameraman. G-Man wants to form an alliance because we saw how he was asking for a second chance to TV Man. He proved he didn't want to fight and instead wanted to team up by not attacking anyone, not even the helicopter. He was trying to prove that he was loyal, but TV Man was just in rage mode. He didn't even bother thinking about it. G-Man knows that his team is weakened and the alliance is weakened, so probably there will be a new alliance between the toilets and previous alliance. I also believe that the Astros are controlled wearing something or by someone. When a toilet was controlling scientist, he had red eyes. The real one didn't. Whenever TV Woman was controlling scientist's other body, it had red eyes. The real ones don't have red eyes, and the strange thing about this is that Astros have red eyes. The only Astro without red eyes is the Mothership Astro. The Mothership is the leader and the one who controls the Astros. The Mothership is the hive mind of all the Astros. It sends out signals and messages to other Astros, which is how all the Astros knew where to go in blink of an eye. I'm not gonna lie, your theories are amazing, and you're very attentive to detail. And now I'll tell you what I think. And we start with the fact that the agents really couldn't have known about this remote, because at the very beginning of the scene there was a recording error. But still, the agents who were in the lab looked through the Plunger Man camera, and we saw in this moment how Lucky Guy uses this remote, and I also think that the detective saw it. And this is the main reason to suspect that cameraman. And the detective definitely noticed that sometimes during the recording there is interference, which was deliberately made by the secret agent so that he would not be noticed. But I personally doubt that the detective saw the secret agent. Maybe he suspects that someone is standing over Lucky Cameraman, but he's going to try to find out at the deposition. But here I am also sure that the secret agent will only let the detective know what he needs to know. And even if Lucky Cameraman tries to reveal the identity of the secret agent, the secret agent can kill him remotely as he did with Plunger Man, so he has nothing to worry about. But your theory that a secret agent killed the scientist to keep him from finishing the Titan body project is plausible. Because if G-Man had been able to become a full Titan earlier, he could have destroyed the Alliance quite easily. Because even in his normal form, he was able to hold out against three Titans at the same time, and was even able to escape. But really, this is just our speculation. And maybe G-Man originally wanted to regain his power to destroy the Astro Toilets and not the Alliance. And the Alliance just stood in his way. And maybe all this time he was preparing for a battle with the Astro Toilets and the war with the Alliance was just a game to keep the Astro Toilets distracted. 
because he knew they would try to kill him at some point. But in any case, the top G will now have to ally with the agents, since his body is incomplete and he can't do anything alone. We have already discussed the fact that the Astro Toilets are under someone's control in the last video, and in the end we assumed that they are controlled by a helmet. And maybe they are controlled by the Astro Mothership, but still I think that they are controlled by someone else, because usually those who control someone do not get into a fight and sit in a safe place, so that there is no risk of dying. It's like in the movie that ordinary soldiers are fighting and there is a commander among them, but the same commander listens to orders that come from the main headquarters, and I think that Astro Toilets have the same system, and maybe Mothership is just the main commander or even a general, and he gets his own orders from headquarters. But we'll talk about Astro Toilets later, because we have another cool theory. But this theory is damn long, probably longer than Titan TV Man's Ding Dong. Bruh. Baba Booey. And so you understand, this is how it looks. But since the guy spent a lot of time writing this, and many people liked this theory, I can't pass it up. But don't worry, I'll only go over the most important points in my opinion. Because if I read you all this and start going into it myself, it's gonna be an hour-long video. So let's take a quick walk through what the guys wrote. Since the Astros refer to G-Toilet as Commander, it is possible that G-Toilet was the ex-boss of all Astros, and his helmet looks like a very damaged version of the Astro helmet. My theory is that he was probably overthrown as the Astro Emperor and has been sent down to Earth to die. However, he survived this harsh exile and was found by the secret agent and his Alpha Hills organization by the time he was the administrator. Before 1985, G-Toilet wasn't yet on Earth but the secret agent was the Alpha Hills administrator. The humans were building something in regards to a blue energy. My theory is that they were trying to build an unfathomable power source, or in other words, a core. A core that could power a species of sentient hardware heads that would revolutionize the world and the way lives were lived. This would explain why speakers, cameras, and TVs are the objects on the Alliance. They weren't meant for war, however, they were repurposed in a quick rush to save Earth. By the time of 1985, they were unsuccessful, but then, G-Toilet got sent down to Earth to die. In 1985, the secret agent formed a deal with G-Toilet to study the damaged core G-Toilet still had on his body. But the G-Toilet wanted to hide his true intent and wanted the humans to rebuild his core for him to take revenge on the Astros. In this time of friendship, secret agent and his staff were close friends with the G-Toilet. They shared a lot of research together. G-Toilet shared his knowledge on the core, and the Alpha Hill staff shared their knowledge on a program that would turn into sentient AI. Until one day, G-Toilet discovered a weird side effect of his voice. Up until this point, G-Toilet had only rarely spoken the Skibidi language, only informed of one scientist who tried to study it. This scientist was the original Skibidi scientist. G-Toilet then realized that he didn't need the humans anymore to repair the core for him, so he decided to overthrow the humans in the Alpha Hills lab, infecting his first legion of his new army. The Skibidi Toilets were then formed with G-Toilet as their leader, and the scientist as second in command. He was ready to start the invasion of Earth, but there was a problem. The recent toilets he had infected were primitive. They weren't capable of doing the science required to finish the reconstruction of his core. But he needed to act fast, so he decided to send them out as foot soldiers to invade Earth with the Skibidi Song. It was a risky plan, but he had to try it. In this time, the secret agent and the last few of the scientists he had with him escaped into an unknown location in which they could continue the development of the core. However, armies around the world crumbled to the Skibidi toilets because of their infectious song. The secret agent knew what he had to do. He had to make machines that would be immune to the song. So he decided to repurpose the hardware heads into soldiers that would fight the Skibidi toilets. And the guys also told us exactly how all the races were created and what G-Man's plan was and what we got in the end. In general, I recommend that you read this theory in full under this post. You guys have done a great job and deserve respect. And although your theories are plausible and cool, there is one caveat. And the most important nuance in all the theories is that many people think that the Astro Toilet sent G-Man to die on this planet, or he escaped from them. But in fact, this is not true because we have an ironclad fact. And the fact is that the Astro Toilets themselves helped the regular toilets to take over the planet. And they acted together. And this fact destroys the theory that the G-Man escaped here, or he was sent to die. Because in the series we are shown that initially they cooperated, the same UFO toilet helped many times the regular toilets to take over the planet, which confirms that they were allies, and they even had a contract about it. And in this case, my theory that was in my past videos comes up. Top G was an Astro commander, but then he had his own plans, and tried to kill the Astro government, that he himself would lead their race. But he failed. But because he was a very powerful fighter, he was not killed and sent to Earth that he would take it and redeem himself. Or Astro Toilets made a contract with a scientist and sent G-Man that he would control the terms of the deal. But G-Man initially tried to regain his power and was helped by a scientist. And because they were busy developing a body for G-Man, they started to lose the war. So the Astro Toilets appeared in episode 51 and started to help them with it. 
But in episode 60, they realized that G-Man couldn't cope with the mission and tried to kill him, and they started a war among themselves. The secret agent also helped them before, and they exchanged technology. And that's why we saw these books on the toilet space, because they were brought there by the secret agent, because he created all the races. But as you guys said in your theory, he realized that G-Man and the scientist were up to something, and he found out about the Titan's body and then destroyed the scientist. But then the Astro Toilets appeared, and he realized that only G-Man knows how to defeat them, and he saved him. I'm not gonna lie, after your theories, I cannot stop yapping. I have so many ideas and new theories that the video could be an hour long. But unfortunately, I don't have time for such a long video, so I will continue to please you with more short videos. And I will also read your theories and add them to my videos. So thank you all who write theories, and do not be upset if your theory did not get in the video. And although I try to read your theories, but I physically cannot add all theories because there are too many theories and I'm just one. In any case, I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if so, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel that would not miss new videos. And also write your theories in the comments.